In this video, we will look at graphs of inverse functions. You will find this on page 419 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at graphs of inverse functions. Find the inverse of the function, that means f um, to the power negative 1x, if fx equals e to the power of x. Okay, and then sketch the graphs fx and the inverse on the same set of axes. What can you say about the symmetry of these graphs? Okay, so let's start. Make sure you remember how to, to find the inverse, otherwise reverse it in chapter 3. Okay, so can you still remember how did we find the inverse? I'm going to first make it bigger, see better. Okay, how did we do it? In the place of fx, we put a y. Then we swap. We, where we see y, we make it a x, and where we see... Uh, x, we make it a y. So replace every x with a y and every y with an x. And then we make again y the subject of the formula. So convert from exponential form to log form. So actually it's, um, it's actually lin, but just now for I keep it log e and then I just swap this two. Okay. So, okay, let me just, sorry, I just want to, then I just swap this two. So the y is on the own, the log e x, and don't forget that log e, you write lin, and that's lin x. Okay, and now sketch the graph on the same set of axes. Now, you can make a table just to, to be a little bit more accurate, but you must always have the pictures in your mind. You know this is an exponential function, so you must already know, and I'm just going to, to show you what must be in your mind. Hmm, sorry, I just really want to take a ruler. Um, so, in your mind, must be, I know exponential functions look like this. I know that. And I know it cuts there at 0 and 1. So, I can take negative 1, I can take 0, I can take 1, I can take 2. But I know this is the exponential function. This is fx. It can be closer to the y-axis or wider, depending. And that, the table will help you. Then I know that lin or, or log, the normal log one, I know it looks like this. You must know that. Okay. And now, again, to get it more accurate, make a table. Because you know, you know it's not existing there. So you cannot take negative one. That's why you must memorize the basic ones. It can also not be zero. But it can be 0 0.5 or 0 0.4. And it can be one. And it can... Basically, because it's inverse, what I did here, I was just swapping these two values. Because that I recall from chapter 3. That an inverse function, the x and the y values to swap. And this is what I did. And there I plotted. And there is my line of symmetry. So what can you say about the symmetry of these graphs? The, the inverse graph is a reflection of this in the line y equals x. Now exponential and logarithmic functions or inverse functions. Remember that. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do for me try now 28 is number one. And again you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Okay, let's start with Try now 28, number 1. Find the inverse of g if gx, okay, and now let's just start. What is it? It is gx equals 2 to the power of x. Okay, now remember inverse functions. So where I see gx, I make a y, first do that. And then I replace all the y's with an x and all the x with a y. And then I make, again, uh, from exponential to logarithmic form. So I'm going to say y equals, and then it's log, and the base is 2. And remember, and I usually, I don't know why I usually make it in blue, I swap that 2. So the y becomes an x, 
Ach, the Y stands here, and the X just basically is going to stand there. And there is my... Don't forget, don't forget, please. You must end with the inverse notation with G minus 1X. And it's going to be log 2X. And that is going to be number A. Now, number B, sketch the graphs on the same set of axes. Now, again, before you, you do it with, with, with a ruler, I'm going to do it on a grid with one centimeter spaces, but, but please have these pictures in your mind. It's still this, because it's still an exponential and still a logarithmic one. So the exponential one, I can basically, if I want to create a table, I can start with... Um, Let's say negative one. Okay. But let's start with number B. Uh, I'm going to start with a table, and then I plot the first one, and then I will plot the second one. Okay. Um, let's just get a ruler. Okay, we don't have to, to do too many points, but let's just, um, let's just get my pen correct. This is my X. And this is Y. And this is negative 1, and this is 0. And let's make it 1 and 2. I think that's enough. Okay, now remember I'm, as I'm, I'm substituting it there. So I'm going to say 2 to the power negative 1 equals... And that's 0 0.5. And then 2 to the power 0, anything to the power 0 is 1. And then 2 to the power 1, it's just going to be 2. 2 to the power 2 is 4. Now, don't forget, this, and I want to write here, actually it's better if you write here GX, that you know. Okay, and now, if I want to do um, sketch the graphs, I'm, I think I'm going to first complete the tables. What I will do is I'll do this one in green. Um, let's just first make the table. Okay, there is the table. Okay, and then I'm going to say, this is G, oh, my pen again. This is G minus 1X. It's better to call it like that. Then, Okay, and now I just basically swap because it's inverse. So if this is 0 0.5, this is negative 1. This is 1, 0. This is 2, 1. This is 4, 1. Okay, let's see what we, do we have there. Um, I'm going to move it up and I'm going to bring in the grid. Now what you must do, you're not going to have uh, this paper. You just make, take a ruler and you make 1 centimeter blocks. That's going to be enough for a sketch. Okay, so I'm just going to see uh, what color can I use. I can... Um, and not green, I can use blue. Okay, so let's just, let's get my ruler. No, I want to just do it on the line. And then, okay, it's up to four. So both says, okay, so let's just, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then this one can just also be longer. Okay, so let's start. This is, um, we're just going to number it quickly. This is negative 1, this is then 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is going to be negative 1, negative 2. I don't have a negative 4. Okay, let's start with the yellow. So it's negative 1 and 0 0.5, so it's going to be there. And then it's 0 and 1. And then it's 1 and 2. And then it's 2 and 4. And then my curve is going to be like this. Okay. And then this one is be, um, 0 0.5 and negative 1. So 0. Point, oh, where am I? 0. 0.5 and negative 1. There. And then 1 and 0. And then 2 and 1. And then 4. Uh, no. 
Um, I made a mistake there. Maybe you picked it up already. I hope so. I forgot this to write there too. I swapped it. I don't know where I got the one. Plus two. Luckily when you do, you, you, you must always think. You must not just do. So this is four and two. Now I can see. Okay. Better. And now I'm just going to please uh, label it. So this, even if you just say GX, that's fine. And if you're going to say this is F, uh, G minus 1, X, that's all right. But then also label, uh, make where it cuts the axis. So this is 0 and 1, and make this 1 and 0. Okay, there. And basically, that's how I sketch it. And then again, what can you say? This is the last one, um, number C. Uh, what can you say about the symmetry of the graph? It's a reflection in the line y equals x. Because if you draw the line there, it's not necessary to draw it. Or it's symmetrical in the line y equals x. One of that two. And that's how you do it.